In the world of plants, reproduction isn't just about flowers and bees. Non-flowering plants like ferns, mosses, and conifers have their own unique ways to reproduce. Let's dive into the fascinating world of non-flowering plant reproduction. First up, we have ferns. These leafy wonders are known for their spore-based reproduction. Instead of seeds, ferns produce tiny spores that are often found on the undersides of their fronds. When conditions are just right, think warm and moist, these spores are released into the air. If they land in a suitable spot, they can germinate and grow into a small, heart-shaped structure called a gametophyte. This little plant is crucial because it produces gametes, which are the male and female reproductive cells. Now let's talk about mosses. Similar to ferns, mosses also reproduce using spores. However, their life cycle is a bit different. Mosses have a dominant gametophyte stage which is the green leafy part we usually see. When conditions are favorable, the moss produces a sporophyte which is a stalk that grows out of the gametophyte. At the top of this stalk, a capsule forms containing spores. When the capsule matures, it opens up and releases the spores into the environment, allowing them to spread and grow into new moss plants. Moving on to the gymnosperms, which include conifers like pine trees. These plants have a more complex reproductive strategy. Instead of flowers, conifers produce cones. Male cones release pollen, which is carried by the wind to female cones. Once the pollen reaches a female cone, fertilization occurs, leading to the formation of seeds. These seeds are often housed in a protective cone until they are mature enough to be released. This method of reproduction allows conifers to thrive in various environments, from snowy mountains to dry deserts. Another interesting aspect of non-flowering plant reproduction is vegetative propagation. Many non-flowering plants can reproduce asexually, meaning they can create new plants without the need for seeds or spores. This can happen through various methods such as runners, tubers, or rhizomes. For example, some ferns can spread through underground rhizomes creating new fronds that pop up in different locations. This method allows plants to quickly colonize an area, ensuring their survival even in challenging conditions. In addition to these methods, some non-flowering plants can also reproduce through fragmentation. This occurs when a part of the plant breaks off and can grow into a new individual. For instance, certain types of moss can regenerate from small fragments making them incredibly resilient. This ability to reproduce in multiple ways gives non-flowering plants a significant advantage in adapting to their environment. The diversity in reproductive strategies among non-flowering plants is truly remarkable. Each method has evolved to suit the plant's specific habitat and lifestyle. For instance, ferns thrive in moist, shaded areas, while conifers are well adapted to survive in harsher climates. This adaptability is key to their success in various ecosystems. Understanding the reproduction of non-flowering plants not only highlights their unique biology, but also emphasizes their importance in the ecosystem. These plants play vital roles in soil formation, water retention, and providing habitat for countless organisms. By studying their reproductive strategies, scientists can gain insights into the health of ecosystems and the impacts of environmental changes. In conclusion, the world of non-flowering plant reproduction is a captivating journey through spores, cones, and vegetative methods. From ferns and mosses to conifers, these plants showcase a variety of strategies that allow them to thrive in diverse environments. Their ability to reproduce in multiple ways ensures their survival and highlights their essential role in the ecosystem. So next time you see a fern or a pine tree, remember the incredible journey of reproduction happening right beneath your feet.